Hey guys, this is Josh Haynes coming at you once again. Uh, no saber reveal today, but it's an unboxing video of a very interesting uh, saber hilt that uh, some of us have been waiting on and have been anxious about. So first of all, I want to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Um, if uh, you enjoy the content, uh, please subscribe. Uh, there's a guitar pick to your right that you can click on to subscribe to my channel. I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I will say this. Uh, I do try to keep it interesting if I can. I'm not, you know, I certainly don't do this for a living. It's just merely hobby. And, uh, you know, I work a day gig and play music for a living. So that's how I earn my income. So, but anyways, on to the uh, unboxing. So I ordered this. Sometime in December, I think. Maybe maybe late November. I forget. Um, it's been a little while. Um, but uh, there was a specific run of uh, saber hilts that Corbanth was doing. And uh, this is one of them. There's four. Uh, you've got the uh, DV-6, which is Darth Vader's lightsaber hilt in Return of the Jedi. You've also got uh, Darth Vader's uh, A New Hope uh, lightsaber, I believe. Um, what else is there? Uh, oh, uh, Obi-Wan's uh, Phantom Menace lightsaber, which um, which is cool. I'm not a huge fan of that saber, but you know it you know it has its place in the Star Wars universe. Um, so, but here we go. So, and then this one. So. All right, a lot of packing peanuts in there. And I got this through the Custom Saber Shop. I didn't get it through Corbant. So I guess they're all, they're sending them out today. Uh, Shamim did a review on this lightsaber. Uh, he was the first, as far as I know, to do an install of one. Um, all right, so here's this. Get it opened. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got some what looks to be Greebly's a bubble strip card, and uh, one of the emitters. This comes with two emitters for seven eight inch blade or one inch. Set that down for a second, and uh, here's some uh, instructions how to assemble it. Wow. This has actually got some weight to it. I'm surprised. Okay. What? Dang. This is probably the heaviest hilt I've gotten uh, ever. This thing has got... I mean, it feels authentic. Wow. I'm kind of surprised. Okay. So, this is the K4 uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi A New Hope run that Corbanth is doing. And uh, so you can, you'll notice that there is a black emitter. Um, that will change because I want it to be kind of a weathered uh, silver or weathered chrome. We got the Graflex clamp right here. There's some holes there. These are going to be for activation switches. I have not, I don't think I'm going to do uh, activation through here. I think I'm going to end up doing clamp activation. I do have a couple of clamp cards that I'm going to insert, or one of them anyway. So. There's the pommel. Let's see what we got going here. Okay, here's the, it's a lot thinner uh, inside than normal. Usually you have about an inch to work with on most sabers. This um, is gonna take a different chassis. Uh, I think it's gonna take like a 0.87 inch, 87th of an inch chassis. So that'll be cool. Um, I'm going to be interested to see who, uh, I'm going to be interested to see if anybody does a comparison between the Roman props and this, because I, I don't have a Roman props, um, or whatnot, and this, uh, I wonder how this, this seems to go up and down, let me see if that screws down any, okay, so this is the, uh, uh, wind vane right here. Feels a little loose. It doesn't seem to. That might be something I maybe put some Loctite around the threads and. But there looks to be some kind of screw there or some kind of thing here. Not sure what that hole's for. I'll have to. I'll have to look at it later. But 
grenade section feels really nice. I mean, it feels authentic. So, um, and one thing I'll mention too that uh, Shamim uh, was able to uh, uh, combat when it comes to uh, the emitter and the seat sink and everything. Um, basically, what I'm going to be doing is he demonstrates in his video, and I'll put I'll put a link below for that. Is basically the emitter is going to be the heat sink. So what I'll do is I'll um, get some. You know, you can use the uh, the thermal the thermal tape or whatever that you can put under the LED. I'll probably just use some uh, thermal paste, which works just as well. And uh, basically, the the emitter will serve as the heat sink, and then you know put the uh, uh, put the optic lens in there and whatnot because when Shamim demonstrates what happens is is when you try to use a heat sink The blade doesn't have very far to go down. So when he was demonstrated the blade flew out of the hilt. So can't have that um, So I haven't decided if I'm going to do uh, seven eighths or one inch I'm thinking I'm going to do seven eighths because I only have one saber and that's my Eddie Van Halen uh, Graph flex that that does uh, that takes a seven eighth inch blade. So I will probably do seven eighths on this so but I'll just let you get a good look at it. Like I said, this emitter is not going to be black. I'm going to get some sandpaper and sand that off. So, but overall, I think it looks really good. And like I said, it just, this is the heaviest hilt I've received so far. I've, it feels authentic, you know? I mean, that's subjective. And I know I just got it. Maybe my opinion will change when I start working on it. But off the cuff, it feels authentic. It feels like a... It feels heavy. It feels like a real lightsaber. Now, bear in mind, I haven't tried the Roman props yet, so I can't compare anything. Uh, but my good pal Richie Castellano has a Roman prop, so uh, he can probably do a comparison once he gets his. I, I think he ordered one. I'm not sure. But maybe in celebration, if we're able to bring our sabers, we can do a comparison between the two. So, but anyways, so the Obi-Wan K4 by Corbanth. This is going to be awesome. And uh, again, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like the content. Uh, guitar pick to your right. Click on that if you want to subscribe for more Saber reveals. Uh, I've got one I'm really excited about. Can't wait to show you guys. It's going to be awesome. And I got some parts today and uh, still waiting on a couple things. But, oh man, I'm excited about it. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to I'm gonna slide because today is my ninth marriage anniversary. So happy anniversary to me. Y'all keep it sexy. May the force be with you.